I am 100% sure that you know who Dream is. I mean, he's the person who did this, 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 and this. And I'm here to tell you that all of it is staged. Kind of. Let me explain. To a naive or unaware person, they might think that Dream's videos are staged, or others might think that he's incredibly skilled. I mean, he won a 1v5, that must mean that he's incredibly skilled, or that the videos are staged, right? Well, don't get me wrong, Dream is not a bad player. I mean, he's quite a bit above average, but he's not the untouchable god that some people think he is, nor is he the best Minecraft player out there. Think about the best clutches that Dream has had. The ladder clutch, the insane boatcraft clutch, the half a heart clutch, the desert temple clutch. What do all of these clutches have in common? Yeah, that's right, they're all off of the start. When have you seen an insane clutch in the end? Now don't get me wrong, a lot of the fights in the end are very skillful, but you don't see him doing a boatcraft clutch in the end or whatever. The only thing that comes to mind is the two hunters clutch when he got a pearl because of Sapnap's death. But even that is pure luck, not really skill. So what though? So what if all the clutches are at the start? Well, to those who are unaware, there's a rule in Manhunt which states that if you kill Dream early, he gets to restart. Imagine if he died here, or if all the hunters just killed him here, or maybe he missed this hay bale clutch. What would happen? Well, they restart because he's not going to upload a 5 minute video. Also yeah, there are like 3 to 4 total cool clutches per video, but these manhunts are often 3 to 4 hours raw. Some interesting stuff is just bound to happen. So when you see him get a desert temple off the start, it's because the time when he didn't get a desert temple, or the time when he was punched to death in the middle of a snow biome, well, he just restarts because he dies instantly. And Dream is so much more skilled than Antfrost or than Awesome Dude or Bad Boy Halo that it's not even a fair comparison. For example, my friend is immortal in Valorant and I'm 100% sure that he can solo 5 of me. When Dream tried 1v1ing an actually skilled player, someone who I would actually consider one of the best Minecraft players, Illumina, he didn't even get to the nether. Now yeah, it's fair that he's 5v1ing people, because the other 5 people are so bad that 5 of them combined balance out to one dream, and even then dream comes out on top. Well it's because, I'm sure that there are a lot of rules to manhunt, I mean dream even stated as such, but think about every single manhunt. When you're 5v1ing people, you're just never going to win no matter how skilled you are. So 5v1 is kind of a fallacy. It's really more of just using a broken or overpowered tactic, like in the latest one Prot 4 Diamond Armor, or a crossbow with firework rockets that one shot or instant kill potions. Like I said, the other 5 suck and so they'll never be able to catch up to Dream and kill him and they'll never be able to outsustain him because they need 5 times as many resources. So the manhunts are basically staged, I mean there's no way they catch up to him because Dream is just better than all of them and they need 5 times as many resources than him. And if and in, in any case when they do kill him at the start, because it's impossible to have an overpowered tactic at the start, well Dream just restarts. My name is Krifster, and if you enjoyed, like the video, if you disagree with me, tell me, but please be civil, we don't need to wish death upon one another. I'll see you all in the next video, goodbye. Oh my god! We have my skin on! What are you talking about?